There's nothing more I enjoy than a chicken broth and this is super healthy. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. I have one already made. So if we have a look here and then we'll go through the whole process because I need to remove the chicken. So from start to finish, it takes about 20, 25 minutes. So we've actually poached the chicken and I'll show you this in the broth. So I'm gonna li literally put it onto a plate. I'm using the skinless chicken fillets, but I'll go through all that in a moment. And these are the corn fed chicken breasts that I'm using there. So I'm just gonna leave them there just to cool slightly. So I am. Okay, this is some chicken stock, which we've just simmering away there, bubbling away there, which is perfect. Uh, stock cube is fine. You can make your own if you have time. Then we're going to show you the whole technique of chopping. So we are. So this is some carrots, which we peel, some celery. You can use leeks, done a little bit of onion, and then some lovely fresh herbs. So one small onion, which is diced, and then with the carrot. So if we hold it either side like this, and then kind of split it down the center. I don't want small little pieces I want nice big chunks of vegetables so the bigger you cut them the longer it's going to cook take to cook should I say so that's one carrot and we'll do the same for this one here just watch the fingers when you're doing this okay good sharp knife that's what you want I'm sure you know where you can get them and then we cut this into nice big cubes so this is going to go into the pot and we're going to infuse this so it's like a one pot dish you can use salaric you can use turnip in this the twins love this kind of soup because it's so good, it's so wholesome and healthy, it really is. And celery is one of these beautiful vegetables that sometimes can be a little bit forgotten about. It's lovely in a soup on its own with some salaric and apple. You may have seen that in one of my videos. And uh, yeah, it's just really, really tasty. So I'm just dicing this. See the way I'm not looking at the camera? That's really important. So you curve your fingers. So I'll just show you really nice and close. Claire will come in here. You hold it and then when, you cur when you're chopping, Kind of curve your fingers like that so this is the bamboo board which is great and then underneath it a lot of people were asking me about the little non-slip mat there so that just stops it from moving so it does instead of using a tea towel it just stops it from moving and it's part of the cookware collection so, something we've launched recently is the essential spoon and this is something that i've really wanted because i think this is going to be the new wooden spoon it's made from heat proof plastic goes up to 200 degrees doesn't absorb any kind of flavors or stains or that so for example if you're chopping garlic on wood say like a board uh, it's going to be kind of scented and, and taste of wood say you were using a wooden spoon for making like a, a curry with maybe some spices and some ginger and garlic it's going to absorb it but this essential spoon won't so that's what it looks like there guys it's um i'm absolutely delighted with it and it's a really essential little piece of kit for your kitchen trust me you'll love this okay we're going to put in our onion one small onion into the broth them all our lovely vegetables so we'll put in our carrot just bring that over so carrot and celery you use as much as you want to that was two of each i used there it's going to come back to the boil and now what we got to do now is just get our herbs in so this is some fresh bay leaf so all you got to do is just tear it like that and that just releases that lovely flavor and fresh thyme it's gorgeous so just pop that in there bay leaf can be a little bit overpowering so be aware of that uh, we already have some thyme but just with a scissors like if you're getting if you're getting it from the plant which we like to use here and we're going to pick this off just literally pick off the little leaves of it it's so gorgeous fresh thyme is one of my favorite so this is going to come to the boil and then we're going to pop in our chicken i'm going to talk to you about the pasta and then that's really it it's as easy as that uh, everything all the goodness and why do we poach the chicken because we poach the chicken in it because it keeps all the flavor keeps the chicken really moist i've actually made this before with a full chicken yeah you need a bigger pot obviously but a uh, full chicken and it probably takes about an hour an hour and 15 minutes to poach it so i would poach the chicken for about 45 minutes and then pop in the vegetables so i would maybe for the last maybe 30 minutes because you don't want to overcook them you want them to have a little bit of a bite but for this recipe we're using the corn fed chicken we'll have a little look at that so it's fed on maize so this is produced and reared in cavan and i really like it it's a really really excellent product so that's what gives it that lovely kind of yellow kind of color is the maize so that's my time picked off i'm going to talk to you with the pasta and literally i'm going to stir this through here so we'll just have a little look in here so that's all your lovely vegetables your stock you're kind of infusing that so you are so that's what we have there now that's perfect you can put the lid on it for a minute if you want to just while it's coming because obviously it was boiling and then when you add in the vegetables it drops the temperature 
So you can do this with barley. This pasta is really nice. It's fuseli pasta. And this is the bronze dye. So this is made in a region outside Naples. I got to meet the producer, PGI, Protected Geographical Indication. So what bronze dye means, it's a plate that they push the pasta through. And if you look really closely, you can see the texture. So that plate that the pasta goes through, it gives it texture. So it catches the sauce, so it does. So that's what bronze dye means. So all we've done with this is just literally just snap this into small little pieces, not too big, okay? And then just literally we're gonna pop that into the pot with the chicken, let that cook out. So just break that in there, okay? I'm gonna pop that in a moment. The chicken can go in now. So these are two skinless chicken breasts and the corn fed. So that's gonna go in there. So literally just slide that in there. And you can just see, I'll just stir that through there and you can have a little look at that. So that's gonna come to the boil, it's gonna poach in there, it's gonna be super succulent and moist and that's exactly what I want. So I'll let that come to the boil there because if I add in the pasta now, it's gonna be overcooked because that's gonna take about maybe 12, 15 minutes or thereabouts to cook until it's just cooked through. But I haven't already done. So while I'm waiting on that just for a moment, I'm just gonna just show you just to chop a little bit of parsley just to finish the other soup. And then we'll do our lovely chicken. So you bring it to the boil. So you roll up uh, your parsley, so you bring your broth to the boil, and then what you do is you turn it down low and you let it nicely simmer. So see the way I'm curving my fingers? And don't be nervous about using a big knife, it's all about practice. So chop, chop, chop. And especially a herb like this, because this is kind of like a soft leaf herb, I always like to put this in at the very end. So this is the broth here, which I'm gonna show you. I've just removed the, literally the um, chicken. I'm gonna bring it back to the boil and you need to season it with salt and pepper and you need to remove the bay leaves. So that's really important. Now we'll chop the chicken in a minute, a little bit of sea salt, some black pepper. And if you think this is a little bit loose or watery, you can thicken it with corn flour. I may do that, I'll just have a little look at it because the pasta will naturally thicken it a little bit and if you're using barley, that will definitely thicken it. So just with your lovely fresh parsley at the end always at the end stir that through there and i'm going to let that just literally come back to the boil i just grabbed my lid i popped it in here and let's just have a little look at this now this is boiling too fast so that's a very harsh boil so let's turn that down okay let's have a little stir through of the chicken it's still raw in the center i'll just show it to you so it's changed color it's like fish in here so that's still raw, but it's poaching in that. And you can do this with chicken thighs. I've often made this with chicken thighs, which are great value on the bone, poach it with the fat on, or the skin on, should I say. And you get this lovely bead coming from the actual uh, skin of the chicken. Now remember when the chicken, you need to kind of let it take it out as you saw at the start of the video. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then what you do is you just literally chop this. So this is completely cooked. So I'm just gonna use the same knife that I use for the parsley. It's still warm, you can see the steam coming from it, but it's lovely, beautifully cooked. And you can just shred it. Like you can do it like this if you want. Actually, that probably makes a bit of sense. Shredding it like that. Super moist, really good flavor. It really is such a great product, this. So just shred this or you can chop it. So I'll do one kind of shred it and then I'll show you how to chop it. So make sure that it's cooked through, but not overcooked. So about, about maybe 15 minutes should definitely cook that maximum. That really depends on the size of the chicken breasts. So there are the corn fed chicken breasts that I'm using. Now let's chop this one. So you just sit literally into nice big cubes. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do. I think that looks a bit more natural, but that's just a personal thing. Chop this and you can see the steam. And this needs to go back then into our broth so it does just before we serve it up. Now, what I'm gonna do next is just get my pasta and this is gonna go into the one that we have the chicken in there. So if you cut it roughly about half the size of your small finger, it'll be perfect. Stir this through and let that poach away there. Now, from this to this. So we're gonna stir this. We've mixed up a little bit of corn flour so that's just corn flour and water in there. We don't want it too gloopy, that's really important. Just gonna pop that in. We're gonna just thicken that up. 
and we've it already seasoned and that's it so see how lovely and fresh it looks when you add in the parsley like this soup here is just the ultimate hug in a bowl it's the ultimate comfort food and it keeps really well it'll keep for about four or five days in your fridge and you can actually uh you know you can keep it in the fridge i was going to say you can freeze it now probably with the past i think the whole texture would break break down so i'm just going to literally slide this in here and then we're going to serve this up i actually prefer the chicken shredded you can see that so you can do this without chicken i normally always make it with chicken as i say my children love this and it's just so healthy so natural so delicious and with that lovely pasta and the good quality chicken now that still is a little bit boiling too fast so we might move it to a smaller ring and just let that cook away just give it a little stir every so often that's what you have there put that on there and then we're ready to serve up so it's the, such a simple recipe the key is the really good quality chicken and vegetables and then that lovely pasta gives a lovely bit of texture and bite to it so if we look at that there look at it's there's a saying in Cavan, there's eating and drinking in it, and that's for sure. It's just super, super healthy. And I love that past in it. You're not going to be hungry after this. You can finish it with more parsley. I think there's enough there and lots of that lovely, lovely, delicious broth. So there you have it. My uh, chicken, vegetable and pasta broth. Uh, done with lots of flavour, lots of lovely herbs. We used the bay leaf, we used the fresh thyme. Finished it with a little bit of flat leaf parsley. There we go. Enjoy this recipe. Trust me, you will uh, be making this. And the key is the really good quality chicken. Okay, guys, thanks a million.